it is important for a teacher to be gentle and easily approachable because such attitudes win hearts to the lord and the holy virgin mary students may not be given undue freedom no must there be needless rigidity rudeness can be an obstacle in one's dealing with the students the virgin mary was firm but gentle it is necessary to exercise a great deal of patience with the children and not to expect spectacular results in dealing with them what is expected of you is to perform your duties well and to seek god in all that you do love god more and more and make him loved by the young ones interested to you also make them understand only true love will assure them of god's forgiveness for their faults the little mortification which come to us at times from one's superior students their parents from ill health etc must be accepted as chosen by god who loves us this is indeed very true strive to inspire your students with a profound piety and the spirit of faith one must not ask of god more than the grace to guide the pupil well let the children be well formed in politeness and help them to understand that god dwells in every person experience has taught me that a teacher who is unpopular and less loved does less harm than another who draws too much attention to herself a saintly teacher does much more good than the one who is merely highly learned you would have more influence over your young pupils through amiability and selfless affection make them feel that you love them education is a god given gift which helps the teacher to love her students and to help them not to be preoccupied with themselves abandon yourself to god through mary inspire the students with a filial devotion to the blessed virgin and prepare them well for the celebration of our feasts straightforwardness and firmness are good but they must be accompanied with gentleness the children will progress in piety only in proportion to the effort they make it is very important that you help them with love to make this effort never correct a fault by another fault for example by an act of impatience if the culpable child 
is not ready to accept its fault one must know to wait even for 8 days if necessary and you my child shall be called the prophet of the most high you shall go before the lord to prepare his way we recite this from the canticle of zakhariah every day at morning office so what you ought to do is take the lead in guiding the children to prepare the way of the lord in their hearts in order to help others spiritually do not project too much of yourself when god is always present within you your words will be more efficacious for doing good it is not important that the boarding school functions successfully but that it works according to god's will perseverance patience and being sympathetic with the children will help in their all round progress strive to mold the heart and mind of the students and may they be inspired by perceiving in you the joy of being a religious and of serving god promote the spirit of prayer in the boarding school among the teachers and among the students this will solely be a work pleasing to the lord educate the children to act out of love rather than out of obligation what is done out of love is always the best education demanding perseverance is more a work of god than of human endeavor may god make his dwelling place in you so that the students find him in approaching you a boarding school mistress must be truly virtuous in every way she should not focus on whether the children are agreeable or disagreeable but rather seek god and act for him alone in all uprightness when you are in authority or are at work have a decision to take may it be god who directs you and not your own self may our schools be apostolates for the glory of god